friends, you're welcome back to the Unique Sweet Ladies Place. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing us how to make a bobo dress or a butterfly dress, like some people call it. And we're going to be having KO at the waist area. So let's get started. To determine the amount of fabric you need, you first measure down the length. So here, yeah, I'm going to be using 40 inches as my length. So I need twice the length measurement. You can decide to make it into a long gown a short blouse you know you can do any length that you want but here i'm just going to be doing 40 inches so twice my measurement is 80 inches plus four inches emmy allowance so that's what we're going to cut out so the amount of fabric required is twice your length measurement plus your four inches emmy allowance so here 40 into 2 is 80 plus 4 inches is 84 so i'll cut out into 4 inches on my fabric so I've done that I've cut it out so I've cut it to 4 inches out from my fabric so the next thing I'm going to do is to fold into 2 lengthwise so you fold it like this like I'm showing you here I hope you can see so this is now the length that I want this is the length like this, this is the length I want and I'll fold it into four, like I'm showing right here. It's into four now. So it's folded into four now. So this is now my length from here to here. It's my length. So I'll measure that. So here I have 42 inches. So 40 inches is my actual length and remaining 2 inches here is going to be the aiming allowance for folding. So this, this part is folded, this upper part is folded, there's no opening at all. That's going to be our shoulder. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure down my vertical measurement. So I'll measure my nipple points first. The nipple points I'm working with is 10 and a half. So I'll measure it down. That is from my shoulder to my nipple. Then to my waistline, the waist is 16 inches. I'll measure that. This is 16 inches. The hip line is 24 inches. The distance from the waist to the hip is usually 8 inches. So, so that's how I get that to be 40 inches. So, and this is the length 40, 40, 40 inches, then 2 inches MA allowance. So, the next thing I'm going to do on my nipple point line, I'm going to measure my bust measurements. I'm work, working with bust of 38 inches. So, I'll divide that 38 inches by 4. So, 38 divided by 4. It's going to give me nine and a half. So and because it's, it's not going to have zip or anything, so I'll add half inch ease to it. So that nine and a half, I will now measure ten inches. So I'll measure ten inches here, like this. This is ten inches. Then on the waist, the waist I'm working with is thirty-two divided by four. I have eight. Then I'll add ease of half inch to that as well. So I'll measure eight and a half. And the eight I'm working with is 42. So 42 divided by 4 is going to be 10.5. So I've had half inch east to that. That's going to be 11. So I'll measure the 11 like this. So if you notice, I did not have any seam allowance because we're not going to cut it out. So there's no need for any uh, for seam allowance. It's only is half inch is that I added to all the divided measurements. So the lower part, you can decide to rule this line all the way down or you make it into an A shape. So here now, I have 11 inches on the hip line. So I'll just put that 11 inches here and add like 2 inches to that to give me, to give me A shape effect. So that's going to be 13. So I'll measure 13 here and the end line here. Then I'll connect all the points together. So 
So this is it. You can decide to have it straight. It's optional, but this is the way I like mine. And if it's a long one, you do the same thing. Whatever you have on the hip line, you measure it at the end line. You can have like five inches so that you'll be able to work freely. So that's that about it. So I connect all the points together. There's no harm for there's no shoulder measurement. Everything is just very simple and easy. So to create the keyhole. This is the waist line here. On the waist line, I'll come down by two and a half inches, like this, and I'll also go up by 2.5 inches, like this. Then I'll measure out two inches as well from the actual waist measurement here that I have. So this is it. I put all the points together. I came down by two and a half, go up by two and a half, then I measure two inches outside the measurement like this. So the next thing is to round that to form an over shape kind of thing like I'm showing us here. So, so this is it now. Alright. So we can then cut that out. Then for the neckline, you can tell me any type of neckline you want. But I'll just do the bar neckline here. 3.5 by 3.5. 3.5 by 3.5. And I'll connect it together. So the only thing I'll be cutting out now is the neck and this little keyhole opening. Then for your on your waistline, you can decide to add like one inch to the divided waist measure because you are still going to sew this keyhole. So now here, the waist is 32, I divide it by 4, mm -hmm. I have 8 mm -hmm. inches, then I added half inch is to it, making 8 and a half. But you, you can decide to add one inch to your hole so that you can be able to have half inch allowance for sewing this keyhole. But I don't need that, I don't usually do that. But you can do that to your home. So I'll be cutting the neck out now and this little opening that I have here. This side is so easy and simple. You can finish this in 10 minutes, be it beginner or intermediate. So watch the way I'll, I'll cut out the, the keyhole. First, I'll just hold the, the, the four fabric together and cut it. Like that, you know, just make it little slip inside so that you'll be able to access it. Then you can now cut out the little opening that you have there. the opening this is the opening here so the next thing you will now do is to transfer all this marking to this other side so let me show you the easiest way to do that this is the way it's folded so just fold this over again like this you fold this at the middle like this make sure everything is aligned properly Make sure you do. Okay. Align it properly. Let everything be nice and flat. Then you tap it so that your shock can transfer to the other side. So you just tap it. transfer the shock to this other side as well. So I can just really very well so that it's going to be easy for me to see. This time we're going to sew the fabric on the right side. So all the shocking should be done on the right side. 
satisfied, okay? So this is it. I've transferred the marking here to this other side. But if, if your shock is not visible enough, you, know, you can just locate the midpoint. Just repeat the same thing that you have done here to this other side. So it starts with measurement from the midpoint and put all the measurement on top and connect it. So I'll take to the sewing machine now. I'll finish the neckline with bias. Then I'll sew on the shock on the right side. But, but I'm going to show us how to sew this PO on the sewing machine. So I'm going to be finishing the neckline with the bias now. This is the bias. But before then, let me show you how you're going to sew that keyhole. You can see this is the keyhole. This is the opening that we created. So what you're going to be doing is to fold it like this. This is, you know, this fabric is just like this now. Let me show us very well. You can see the way it is. So this is one and this is the other. So you're going to be folding it like this. Let's be washing up and then fold it in like this. Then bring the other one, the one at the lower part. Bring it in as well like this. Hmm? Like this. Then you lift, lift it up so that you'll be able to access it inside. Like this. Can you see? Then you pull them together and sew. Let me show you something. This is the way. Alright, so this is the fabric. After opening it out, you can see it's like a dress already. So I'm going to show you the explanation of that opening again. So this is the opening that we created the keyhole. So I'm going to show you how to sew that thing now. So what you're going to do is to fold it here. Just you know this is the lower part and this is the upper part. Fold the upper part inside a little like quarter of an inch like this. Then this other the one at the base fold it in as well like this. Bringing their mouth together to meet. Like this, can you see? I can show you now. I hope you can see this. So bring them together, then open your fabric like this. Open it like this so that you can be able to assess those equipments. So you can see it like this. Hmm? Then hold them together on the wrong side. And you so you can pin it so that it will be easy for you. Can you see? Like this. So let me just do it. I hope you get this explanation. Like this. So I'm start sewing on the wrong side. I'm start sewing it on the wrong side. Don't swing the keyhole. You can see the way it is. 
so we just open it back and notch it so that it's, it's return out very well. Let's do it a little bit of the other one. That's what it's called notching. again for the other side so this is it i just hope we can see this thing so this is the rest looking fold the upper part in and bring the lower part and fold it again in to come and meet the other parts let them kiss like that like this and use use your hand to hold it down and bring it to the wrong side so that you can assess that you're folding okay all around. So I'm, I'm done with the sewing, so I'll mash it as well. So I'll just mash it all around. Let's make it. Just a little snake all around the bowl like that. So I can turn with ease and you don't press it down. So this is it now. So I'll now go to the ironing table and press it before I'll now so on the shots and I'm finished with my as well. So I pressed it. This is the opening. So the next thing I will do now is to take the sewing machine and sew on this chopped line, you know, all the way down and on the other side too. This is the other side. So this is my shaft, right? So I'll just sew it like that all the way down. So before you sew the sides, hmm, first end the lower part. First end the lower part. So let me take it over. You know we had it two inches allowance for the folding. with the end so the next thing I do now follow my short line and so the side you sew on the right side so this is it so I'm 
sink back here. Get to that opening and back stitch, then jump to the lower part and continue from there. So back stitch again and continue sewing all the way down. Repeat the same thing for the other side. You can see where the shocking parts are. So, so back fish. So for the opening, back fish as well. Jump over to here. The next thing I will do now is to finish this neck area with pliers. And this part, you can decide to, to fold it like this again, all around, or you finish with pliers as well, or you can weave it, or you can leave it like that. It's the savage that is there. If you don't mind the number showing, you can leave it like that. But that's not cool. You can just fold it in, or you use pliers and finish it, or you weave it. So that's totally up to you, whatever you want to do with the flowers. So I'll finish it with my hands. So I'll put my bias hand on the right side. get to the starting point for my lap the bias we need to like half inch then you cut this process free so the next thing you'll do is to fold your bias inside and so fold it in what
done. Can you see? Okay. Please come closer. Mm 